Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, where market researchers come for news insights and commentary about the market research field. We provide them with knowledge and other valuable information that can impact them both inside and outside their current place of employment. Today on RBDR, Google makes an announcement about its new browser and it wins some praise, but also some demerits from people who are observing. And then Facebook has real-world evidence that users are turning to it rather than watching TV commercials. RBDR sponsored today and this week by RFL's Video Testimonial Service, a new offering that combines the effectiveness of video and the power of a customer's perspective. Your company's product or service and the expertise and quality of your work comes to life in a way that other methods simply cannot provide. You give us a customer whose problem you've solved, and we'll use our 23 years of research industry experience first to speak with that loyal, satisfied customer, and then to present in a very compelling way their experiences in using your business capabilities. Your website happens to be the best place to put a video testimonial. In fact, it's the optimum place, because new research shows 80% of buyers check out a website in the process of making a buying decision. The same study, by the way, says 94.5% of referrals, and we all love those, are based on one, your reputation, two, your expertise, and three, your visibility. And guess what? All of them are actually established on your website. Your website also has the power to elevate your product and or service from a basic awareness level with people who come to take a look. And then it can raise their perceptions about your business along a continuum that reaches the consideration set. And finally, the ultimate jump, if you can get there, to advocacy. Video testimonials can really help build perceptions about your company. Now, if you've got case histories on your website, good for you, but video testimonials have been shown to be twice as effective as any case history. And we will deliver multiple versions of your video testimonial to you so that we can tell you that you will increase your revenues and profits if they are placed strategically around the website. So let's discuss your situation. You can see how to contact me on the screen to my right. Both my email and my phone number are there, and we look forward to having some sort of communication with you. Fortune.com's Matthew Ingram reported Google's announced plan to debut a new browser that will have a built-in ad blocking feature. And that's considered a big consumer plus, but at the same time, it is steadfastly sticking to tracking of users' personal behavior and personal data. In contrast, Apple is coming out with a new browser for Safari, and it says it's going to block certain ads and it will disable user tracking. Now, speculation is that Google's reasoning for continuing to track is that it has a dominant digital advertising position along with Facebook, and that is a likely reason for it remaining with its tracking because advertisers do rely on effective targeting and they use that tracking mechanism in order to find out where to place those ads. Next, evidence continues to mount about the growing impact of second screen viewing, particularly vis-a-vis -vis television. Facebook says it has new research that demonstrates that people who were viewing the season premiere of an unnamed popular TV show actually chose to ignore the commercials and instead turned their attention to Facebook. A study of 537 views of the show, people who were interviewed, said that Facebook experienced a spike every commercial time out, specifically between 7% and 11% were active during a program, and that expanded to between 15% and 25% every time a commercial hit the wave. Facebook's examination of people not showing a, a, uh, or not watching the television show revealed a flat 8% to 10% were using Facebook basically all throughout. Facebook is opening a marketing science lab in New York, by the way. It says it will use it to study how people use mobile devices and larger screens. That is your Research Business Daily Report. We hope you have a great research day, and we hope that you'll join us back here tomorrow.